Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first week of August. We're going to do you and the other person as best I can. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first week of August. First thing I see is flirt. There's a big flirt here. Somebody's doing a lot of flirting. Um, first week of August for Capricorn. Oh, goodness. I just saw the party is over, too, so I'm not sure what that means. Uh, overall energy. Nine of Swords reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, so that's the overall energy between you and the other person. Nine of Swords reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed. So first off. That's not being practical, unrealistic, ungrounded, uh, financially insecure perhaps, really, really, really stressed out, very, very extremely overwhelmed, okay? Take any minutes in reverse, it's an extreme, okay? Extremely overwhelmed. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. So somebody, I think the connection between you and another person is, is stressed out. Somebody has some serious regrets. It may be you. It could be you. It could be the other person. You could be dealing with another earth sign. I don't know. It doesn't have to be an earth sign, but uh, the king of pentacles in reverse. There could be some illegal things going on. Somebody is doing something illegally, and they end up in, you know, Maybe even behind bars. I don't know why I'm saying that. I just happened to see those kind of looks like bars. And I don't know if it's you or them or whatever, but this isn't going to, that part's not going to resonate with everybody. But that Nine of Swords reverse is extremely regretful. So somebody is extremely regretful. Um, King of Pentacles reverse, unstable, in, very unstable, extremely unstable. So let's see, what do we got over here? Definitely not happy. Somebody's not happy. Now, this is the first week of August. So, that would be like August 2nd through, I'd say, the 9th through the 10th. So, we got a person over here, major completion, going down a new path, starting fresh. Oh, we got one that just hit the ground. Somebody hits the ground. Her card hits the ground. Three of Wands reversed. One more card over here the star so this is hope the three of the the star card is hope hoping for renewal um it's a blessing it is a blessing so there's a blessing over here this is protection anyhow let's start over here king of swords reverse the world and the princess of pentacles this is the page of pentacles looks like somebody has a new opportunity and they're thinking about it they're thinking about whether they want it or not should i go down this path should I? So we got a person. This is this is maybe your side. This is a new enterprise, a new offer. It's like somebody is presenting something to you. Is it worth it? So you may be thinking about that. Um, the King of Swords reverse. Maybe somebody doesn't have good intentions. So you got to be careful. The King of Swords in reverse is an individual that is very very selfish. They have they may have ulterior motives. So. Um, this could be somebody that's not very professional, you know. They're not very skilled, you know. They don't uh, have all their ducks in a row, and you need to be really, really careful. Um, this is this is not logical, not using their head, um, not being clear. This is needing to really, really think about. You're going to really need to think. Really, and you may be feeling confused if this is your side. There's obviously a new opportunity here because of the world card. This is the end of a phase. It's the end of a chapter. It's the end of a cycle. It means something prominent in your life is coming to an end. Okay, and you are going to be, uh, you're going to have an opportunity to go down a new path this week. It's like you're being given an opportunity. You're really, 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 really going to need to think about it. Okay, is this practical? And it is about being practical. It's about being realistic. Is it practical? Can you trust this person? Can you trust this offer? Anyhow, this page of pentacles is 
it's it is a new enterprise laying a new foundation um investing maybe you're investing in your health or you're investing in becoming a new person you are and i think and maybe this is i feel like this is your side i feel like you are really really determined to be successful so i think this month maybe you've been illogical maybe you've been unpractical or impractical maybe you know i mean the king of swords in reversed is rude dishonest uh lacks integrity whether this is you or somebody else okay if this is the energy you were taking on maybe you weren't being honest with yourself maybe you weren't uh, thinking clearly or you are crazed by power because the king of swords in reversed is somebody that is power crazed you know but i think what we have here is that this is the end okay the world is the end it's like you've learned some sort of lesson Maybe there's been an abuse of power. The King of Swords is abusive. So it is an abuse of power. It could be a father that has abused his power. Now, and know, maybe you're dealing with a father. I don't know. But this is the end. Okay, this is the end. It's the end of abuse. Okay, and maybe and it's for some of you, you abuse yourself. Okay, but this is the end. This is the end of that cycle. It's the end of the chapter. It's the end of that phase of your life. This is a new beginning. The world is accomplishment. You're leaving the past behind. You're moving towards the future. You may even be publicly recognized this week. I feel like that for some of you, there could be a change of residence, especially with these two cards. You may be traveling or moving to a new place. Uh, this is definitely a new endeavor or a new door that is opening for you. So you have a major, and this is a major new beginning here. You're being, and this is manifestation. The Ace of Pentacles. This is man. You have an opportunity that could grow into something very, very, very successful. So I feel like this week, and this, if for some of you, this has to do with health. It has to do with investing in your health. You know, getting healthy. Um, because you see how healthy this person is. I just very, very, you know, optimal health. Um, this is starting from scratch and remaining focused, staying focused. Okay. So over here, whoever this person is, this is dishonest. This is lack of power, uh, not being truthful. Three of wands reverse, not prepared, not prepared. Um, no vision, wasting time, not seeing opportunities. This person over here is wasting their time. And you know, both of these sides could be you. You get to choose which side you are. That's, that's the, that's the great thing about these readings. This could, this could be, you know, we have two sides. We all do. Could be you and another person completely, but it could be both sides of you. Anyhow, um, this is being dishonest. This is, this is a loss of power, wasting time, not seeing opportunities. Now this could be somebody else as well. Um, being dishonest. Somebody's not coming around. They're not coming around. Lack of foresight, lack of, lack of vision, lack of truth, being dishonest. Somebody's not, and there's a lack of communication, refusing to wake up. Somebody's not waking up. The star, this is a blessing. The star is a blessing. Everything happens for a purpose. This is a new purpose. This is a wish being granted. This is unexpected help arriving that you didn't see coming, that you didn't see. There's a reason why everything happens. This is you weren't expecting anything. You weren't expecting. Don't expect. Don't expect. The star is about help. This is unexpected. This could be a visitor. You may have a visitor that is coming that you did not expect. Now, this is healing. This is renewal. The star comes after the tower. Okay, so the tower falls, then we have the star, which is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So there could be a tower moment. Okay, when you get the star, you and you weren't prepared for it. So you may be experiencing a tower moment that you were not prepared for, but here comes help. 
here comes help. This is hope. This is healing. This is like a blessing or a gift or guidance. The star is guidance. Guidance. Being guided. Uh, you weren't prepared to be guided. But you are going to be guided. This is protection. Um, now, the Ace of Swords reversed is, is losing power. Um, not waking up. Lack, not communicating, um, not prepared, unprepared, no, unprepared for this blessing. This is a blessing, so there is some sort of blessing here. Um, this person over here is receiving some sort of help, some sort of protection, being protected. This is guaranteed success. This is it's a guaranteed success. This is renewal. Interesting. This person is having their wish granted. But they they didn't see it. They didn't it's totally unexpected. Eight of Wands reverse. There's definitely no communication. There's there's end of communication here, which is interesting because of the star is help. This is a wish that comes out. There's help arriving. Something coming to a stop. Um, eight of no more forward movement. No more messages. Blocked messages. No more. No contact. No contact. No contact. Something you weren't no con somebody may be going no contact, but there's a reason. The star is a card of reason. Everything happens for a purpose. So no communication, no communication, not communicating. Um, there's somebody has wasted a lot of time. They're not coming. They're not coming. But this is a blessing in disguise because help is coming. Princess of Cups. There could be some tears that are shed this week. This is a bubble being burst. Um, unrequited love. One-sided love. Whoever this person is, is, is totally... This is like healing after the tower. The star is healing. There could be guidance from somebody that has passed away as well. Because the star could be somebody that has passed away. The, this is healing. And praying. Because this is prayers being answered. And prayers sometimes don't get answered in the way that you think they are going to be answered. The Princess of Cups reversed. That's the Page of Cups reversed. Now the Page of Cups reversed is... Shattered dreams, tears, insincere. There's some sort of insincerity here. We have somebody here that may have stopped communicating with you, but it's actually a blessing in disguise. Three of Wands reversed, not prepared, unprepared, wasted time, lack of foresight. Somebody wasn't seeing that this was a blessing. They aren't seeing that it's a blessing. They are not. The Hermit reversed. This is... Uh, sadness of some sort. Rejection, and this is rejection as well. There's a rejection here. Somebody is, is being rejected, or they're feeling lonely or alone, or they're feeling rejected. It's no going, no contact, not receiving any contact. This is um, a midlife crisis of some sort. The Hermit Rivera is a midlife crisis. Fear of growing old alone. Being alone. But the star is a card of hope. This is a blessing in disguise. Somebody's been hoping to reconnect. 
They have. This is hoping and to reconnect. They've been hoping for somebody to contact them. They've been hoping for somebody to come around. This person is uh, happy. Okay, this person is happy. Whoever they've been hoping to come around. Um, Princess of Cups reverse. That is an unrequited love situation. One-sided Now, this is also coming out of hiding. It's coming out. Somebody has evolved. Maybe they didn't see in the past. They didn't see in the past that, you know, it was a blessing in disguise that this person uh, left. But this is coming out, re-socializing, starting to live again. Coming out of hiding, coming out of hermit mode. So whoever this person is, really hasn't, may have been living in the shadows, may have been hiding, but this is coming out of hiding. They were in an unrequited love situation, but now they're resurfacing. And their prayers are being answered. And perhaps this was the answer to their prayers Anyway, but they didn't see it. They didn't see that it was the answer to their prayers. Anyhow, this is is the overall connection between you and, and this person. Whichever side is yours. Is that somebody has been really, really upset. And anxious and regretful over what happened. And they've been impractical and unrealistic and all over the place. But I feel like it's over now. I feel like there's some sort of turning point here. This is a whole new life. It's a whole new beginning. Somebody is, whoever is on this side is about to uh, start a new chapter. And it's going to be a long-term phase. They're about to step into a new life. And it's not going to be easy. But they're being given a new opportunity. This is like going through a new door. Mm, the devil. This is your side. You're going to be going through a new door. You are. And I think that you are going to be very tempted. You're going to be very tempted. You may be re be uh, coming together with somebody that you are very, very, very attracted to. And this person is mutually attracted. There's, it's probably going to be a week of, uh, it's going to be, maybe it's a lustful week. You know, it's a week of, of lust or whatever. I mean, the devil is uh, your card and it is about lust. It's about codependency. Um, but this is a new beginning. So it's the end of one phase and you um, going down a new path. You are going to be given an opportunity to go down a path. And it is with another person. It's not alone. You're going to be going down a path. You're going to be, It's like you're being presented with this opportunity to unite with somebody that you probably feel very, very, very much connected to. You may have rejected this person in the past or they rejected you or something like that because there's there's some sort of rejection here. But there is there is an opportunity. There's an opportunity. And maybe you rejected this person because of this person that you have been so stressed over. You know, you have been stressed over somebody that uh, caused you a lot of anxiety this person uh, came into your life to wake you up put it that way they put you into some sort of awakening a spiritual awakening that's why they came into your life to change you but I feel like it's in you maybe you've been in hermit mode you've been in hermit mode or I don't know what side is yours maybe this is both your side maybe they're both you. I don't know, but I think this is coming out, re-socializing, um, connecting with somebody that uh, you're perfect with. This is a perfect match. Um, 
there's a definite uh, sexual connection. And I think that you're going to be going down this path. You're going to be putting in effort to have a new life with this person this week. Somebody, somebody may even, uh, I don't know, maybe it has to do with moving, you know, something to do with moving. You're definitely going to be tempted this week. You're going to be tempted. You're going to be tempted by something that, um, you know, there's a very sexual energy here. Oh, that is temperance reverse. There's, there is, um, an imbalance of unhealthy behavior. There is, there's unhealthy behavior here. There is, there could be somebody here that has addictions. There's addictions here. And maybe it's you. I don't know what side is you. There's addictions and it could be any type of drug. It could be, it could be green. It could be any kind of drug. It could be alcohol. I don't know what it is. There is some sort of addictions, but there is an opportunity to end that phase and you know, put in effort to lay a new, you're going to be laying a new foundation somewhere, put it that way. But I think there's addictions that are getting in the way of your success. And those addictions come in many forms. It could be alcohol, it could be drugs, it could be food, it could be cigarettes, it could be pot, it could be anything. It could be anything. But this is the beginning of a new life. And I think that you've been in an unhealthy situation. You definitely have. You have been in an unhealthy situation, but this is finding your focus. You're going to be finding your focus this week to lay a new foundation and start over. That's what's happening. I think whoever is over here, whether it's you or somebody else, I think that um, it is a blessing in disguise, perhaps that this person stopped communicating or they went their own way because this gives you the opportunity to start fresh. It taught you a lesson. This is a lesson learned. The world card is a lesson learned. I know whoever this person is taught you a lesson. And I think they, they taught you a lesson probably about your worth. Probably about, because that is, the Ace of Pentacles is worth, you know. And about being self-centered. I think that you were in a state of mind with that King of Swords in reverse that where you were very self-centered. You you used to think a certain way that was very judgmental against people. And you may have even been controlling and abusive and, you know, said things without thinking, said mean things. Maybe you were a bully. Maybe you were very controlling. And I think this person came into your life to teach you, maybe it's empathy, I do feel like you're going to be seizing a new opportunity this week that could lead to a union with uh, somebody that is absolutely perfect with you. Um, that's what I got. Good luck, Capricorn.